So today we're going to be fitting some door card lighting. Pocket Lights have kindly sent me their door card illumination kit. So we're going to be fitting it and giving you guys an honest review because I've been told they're super easy to fit. Basically anyone can do them and the results are amazing. So let's get into the video and let's see. So let's start. These guys actually make different colours. So I'll add some of those images now. Opening the kit, you have full instructions. So basically a full step-by-step -step guide on how to complete this process, which I will be following myself, to be honest. So straight at the beginning, it starts with the tools you require, and it's got a list of the tools you require, uh, and the drill. it actually comes with a drill book, which I think is quite good, to be honest. I think that's uh, quite impressive. So the first job is to remove the door card. I'm not going to read for all this. There's no point. You're going to watch me do bits. We've got the kit. We don't need to take this out yet because we'll remove the door card. So I've already done a door card how-to removal. So I'll put that link to the video up above. And also I'll put the link to the video in the description box below. So once you've finished watching this video and you've got an opinion and an understanding of what work is required, you can then go back and watch how to remove this. But basically, you've got three at the bottom. You've got one in here. This plastic trim part comes up. And then here, you've got the, because it's the driver's side, you've got the bigger electric window switch with the mirror switch and everything in it. So this flicks up from the front and it comes up. They do, they do fully explain this. Here, look. Full how-to, or like I mentioned, I've done a video on this, so you can watch that also. But let's speed it up and get this off. So, door card removal complete. So if we get it out of the package. So we'll leave the harness to do that shortly. So we'll connect this now. So get onto the electrical part. So basically you can run that in. So now we need to connect it to the correct wires, the live and earth, off the Volkswagen harness. So, quick read here. Basically says, do, 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 six mil. So electrical wiring loom located positive. So the positive for the VW is the gray and the blue. Off the window switch, which is that one. So gray and blue, yeah, got that. And negative is brown, yeah, happy with that. So there we go. So what we'll do is slide that back. I don't recommend using a blade for that. And what was it, the gray and blue was it? Gray and blue, yeah. Which is that one. So that's your live, and the brown is the earth. So let's separate those. So you've got two, this is good how they make it connectable as well, so you can disconnect it. So basically, when you remove the door card, because that's all attached to the back of the door card now, you can just disconnect it the same as you're disconnecting all the other plugs and leave this in situ and leave that on the back of the door card. That's quite good. So, oh, everyone's clapping for the NHS back in a moment. Okay, so yeah, so obviously, let's just double check because the guy who says obviously doesn't want to be wrong. Ah, oh, see, that's clever. So basically, you've got these kind of crush spade connectors that crush over the wire, a bit like, um, I think they used to call them scotch box kind of back in the day, but that crushes into the wire, making a connection, and then these go over the end there. So let's get some pliers. So we'll connect 
grey and blue. Let's get the pliers like so. God, that was easy. You know, when something clips in that easy and that like effortless that you think that's not right, but it's in. Okay, so now we've clipped to the live and to the negative. So they're both done. Positive is the blue and grey, and the black is the negative, which is the brown. So they're on. What we're going to do is I'm going to put those like that there. I'm going to put a bit of tape around them. And then now we'll bring the door card up, clip the door card in, the same as we will clip everything else in to rebuild the door card. Remember, link for a door card removal and fitting video is below. Okay, so now we're on to the drilling of the door card. So let's just educate myself first. So, I've got a pencil, so a little ruler. So there's the flange. So, 10 millimeter away. Yep. Which if I drill that through, that'll bring that right into that corner. Yeah, so it'll bring it right into this corner here, down here. So the key with this guy is, it looks like it's, you're going for like for it to be discreet. So obviously you don't want really the lights on show if you can tuck them up the goal is to tuck them up behind the lip or in the corner so that you can't see the light you just get the the illumination that's quite a nice little um touch that i like that so we'll drill this one through first so obviously this is their supplied drill bit yeah, so you can't see that. You can't even see that, guys. There, where, there, where I've done it, just off this rolled edge here, ten millimeter away, you can't even see it in here. I can only just see it looking like that because this part of the door card is almost like concave, like so, and then it rolls on the inside. So that's, and it's also because that face is coming this way. The LED is kind of tucked in behind, so that's good. I like that. And that was, to be fair, that was quite simple. I probably overcomplicated it myself, but yeah, it goes. So the second one, obviously, that's the first one. Now they go opposites, so that's in that corner into the tapered corner on the top one, and then the bottom one goes down here. So this one, they're saying that. You want to do it right in the corner below the pocket line. Well, we've drilled the hole now, so we're, we're half committed. We don't want to be drilling multiple holes. So yeah, that's hidden as well to a certain degree. So now we'll move on to the next part, which drill that hole, drill that hole, which moves to the end page. So now these go through. Okay, yeah, so they come with the actors like a bezel holder. That's already clipped on. So you push that through first, then you push it into that but through from the other side and then clip it in see I was trying to push that through just thinking that's too big take that out push the LED through we'll then do the same on this Let's decide how to route this first so I'm gonna go under here under here like this and then this is this is actually a nice kit to be honest. I'm kind of enjoying this. I don't normally really enjoy electrics. I know it's not really electric, so to speak, but I mean, it's still wiring. So then you basically clip that into there, like that. 
that. Okay, so yeah, that actually holds it really tight. I was a bit skeptical of that. So you push that through your new hole from the inside of the door card out. You then push it and locate it into this, what do they call it? A bevel, was it? Yeah, so into the LED bezel holder. So you put it into the bezel holder and then you clip that in as one. And because obviously it pinches the teeth in, it holds the LED in place. Because I thought, well, that'll just pull back through. That doesn't make sense, but no, I was wrong. It's a bit difficult and cog handed filming it like this. I'm trying to do it so you can see, but I might just do this to get this one done. Just to show you. Yeah, they, they are quite strong, to be honest. I want to trust that. They even give you the sticky pad so you can hold the wiring in place. So here's a look to how I've done mine. Comes out of there, the wire runs up there. I've put the sticky pad here, cable tied it to it. One thing I will say, on the first one I did, this is the passenger side, I pulled this and ripped this glue off. Don't do that, just push it. I don't know why I did that, but just push it underneath. Because now I'm over one, that's flapping around, so I'm going to have to re-glue that back down. So don't do that, push it underneath. I've then put the other sticky there, and it runs into that top one. And then I've left this loose for now, because I'm going to wrap that round and pull that tight when I plug all the rest of the electrics in. It does mention on the instructions that you can potentially apply a little bit of glue. Now I'm going to, I'm going to to both just because to be honest for 30 seconds putting a bit of serial glue on now it saves me ever having to take the door card off again. I physically can't pull this one out but this one I have pushed out a couple of times and I think it's more the measurements that they gave I actually halved it so that it was tucked into the door card even more so I really struggle with access to get into this one so I think it's more of a fact of I'm not keeping it in properly when I'm pushing it in. I think I'm actually pushing it out and then pushing it in, if that makes sense. Because it's pushed out a couple of times, I am just gonna apply a little bit of glue at the back just so I don't have to take the door card back off because to be honest, I don't think it would come out anyway. I mean, I have pulled on it and you, I can't pull it out. Whereas with a bit of glue on, it's almost guaranteed to stay in. So I'm just gonna apply a bit, a bit of glue to that one uh, and that one as well and then I'm going to build it back up. So, both of them got a bit of glue on, so now we'll fit it. So, I had a bit of a stupid moment then put it all back together I didn't tighten the door card up I got to this stage turn the ignition on lights didn't come on started the engine still no lights I'm thinking I must have done something wrong it must be the power so I took it all back off because I couldn't get the electric window switch out from above because for some reason it just couldn't get it out without damaging the plastic so I took it all back off and then as soon as I literally the moment I took this back off I realized it's on the illumination switch for the light so I was like I need the lights on so turn the lights on because obviously these are to illuminate at night you know there's no point having them on all the times because during the day you wouldn't you wouldn't be able to see them but obviously during the night they obviously look really good turn the lights on work fine so just remember that just you don't take this back on <laughs> okay guys so it's just starting to go dark outside now it's not quite as dark as it looks on the camera but it is just going dark but this is the moment of truth really really interested to see the results and to see how good they actually do turn out. So I'm just looking at the passenger door card now. Let's see, look how look how good that looks. 
Now it's quite difficult to actually tell because my camera's not really picking it up that good to be honest. But credit where credit's due, that is phenomenal. Let's see if I can get a better view out here. Yeah, so look at that. Can't really tell, but that's awesome. So this, that's on, that's off. Yeah, honestly guys, the camera does not do those justice. They look phenomenal. So there you go guys, that's the end of this one. To be honest, I'm really happy with the results. As they mentioned, they are super, super, super easy to fit and anyone could basically fit them. So obviously this is for a T5.1, they make them for a T6 also, however they do fit T5s as this technically is, but you do need to have factory electric windows fitted. If you're a bit confused or unsure, I've left their links in the description box below. Add them on Facebook, speak to them on eBay, contact those guys directly and they will talk you through the process or they will give you the advice that you need to clarify whether your vehicle is suited for this kit. In my opinion, I think they work absolutely great. You guys have seen the results, especially at night. So as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. And you won't believe I've done this before. Come on, Jay. How many times have I done this?